Well, hello everyone. I had a couple of people request a video about my program. In particular, it was Kevin and Dave. And I'm really not wanting to get any sort of credit to Craig, but he said something too. But since he made me do that last video, this is not for you, Craig. You might as well just turn it off. So I got comfy because I just did this video and it took way too long. So we got the Avengers jammies and some sandals on. I'm gonna go through it on the board, but oh shoot. I'm a little bit too big, so I'm gonna try and write way over here. This is my post injury slash laziness. Recovery program. I don't know why I took the time to write this all out. I just talked about how long this video was. Last time I made it. But this is the post injury slash laziness recovery program. Yay! All right, now let's get into this. So what Glenn and I do, we're gonna take the days of the week. So we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with an R because there's already a T. And then we got Saturday, and then we're gonna go on day because you know we already have an S, right? So on these workouts, these are cool because they're magnetic. I like them. We are going to take Wednesday off. We're going to take, oh, I forgot Friday. <laughs> My goodness. Way, way to go, Brooke. Way to go. <laughs> I didn't even I notice. I totally missed an entire day of the week. I'm like, wait a minute. Where's the other rest day? Yeah, that's why I forgot it. <laughs> I don't think you had a Sunday on the other videos, so I was like, why did he put a U? <laughs> I put two S's, but then I realized that I renamed Thursday. So, this is going so well. Let's get going. All right, we gotta go faster. All right, Monday, black, primary movement. We've got deadlift. I'm gonna write sloppy now. Oh no, that's why the last video took so long. I was trying to write not sloppy. Tuesday, we have the overhead press. This is a strict overhead press. Thursday, we have the squat. And we'll talk about Saturday later. So, on the deadlift, what we're doing, when we're coming back from an injury, I have found that the single best program to getting you back to where you were is 5x5. Five five. Now, we are not doing an ascending 5x5, five five. we are doing a straight 5x5, five five, which means you pick the weight, it doesn't include your warm-ups, you do 5 sets times 5 reps, okay, so 25 total reps of a weight. And you don't want to start too high because you are coming back from an injury or being super lazy and you want to make progress. So deadlift, every week, we add 10 pounds. So 10 pounds per week, yay. That's the deadlift, all right? And we're gonna finish Monday out. So on here, I am going to write in blue, because I look at all these colors, they're taking up too much space in my hand, and they stick, so they're gonna stick there. What we've got is accessories. When you are picking your accessories for any set of, uh, uh, talking too fast. Any type of program, you want to pick something that's working on a weakness or the movement. So the first accessory that we are going to do is stiff leg rack pull. And what I mean by that is you don't want to put the rack pull so you can re-dip your knees because that's not how a deadlift works. So when you're actually up in the rack, your legs are mostly stiff, so when you go to start from the rack, you want to start from that stiff position. We are doing three sets of 10 reps every week. We go up 10 pounds. And then so, you know, if you're doing this in kilograms, you're gonna use five, obviously. And that's gonna be a little bit heavier, but it is what it is. Then we are going to do glute. I, I call them glute bridge, but these are hip thrusts, hip extensions. It's the booty movement. You know, and if you watch any video on how to get your booty big, you put a weight on you, you thrust. That's what this is. Weighted, three times 10, plus 10 per week. And then we are doing single leg. Now this SL means stiff leg. This SL means single leg. So here, let's, let's do it this way. Let's go one L because we're using one leg. Leg press. So 
Same thing. Now what we are gonna do here though is a superset. So you go, you do your rack pull, you do your glute bridge, you do your leg press, each leg, three by 10, you come back, you do it again. So this is one giant superset, giant set, whatever you wanna call it. Every week we increase 10 because this is a lower body. What we are trying to address here is a movement similar, similar to a deadlift. So you could do a deficit deadlift, you could do a sumo deadlift, if this is conventional, or you could sumo here and then do a conventional here. You wanna do something that's a deadlift movement that's working on your weakness. We're working on our hamstrings with this because my upper hamstrings and my glutes are really not wanting to work anymore after all that time off. Glute bridge, same thing, working on the glutes. Single leg press, we've been neglecting the single leg. And this is posterior movement, posterior movement, posterior movement. So we want an anterior movement. What that means is anterior is front of the leg, the posterior, that's the back of your leg, okay? And then we are going to move on and do a leg curl. Now this is a little bit different. We're gonna do three sets, but you're gonna pick a weight. First week you're doing eight reps. Second week you're doing 10 reps. Then you're doing 12 reps, then you're doing 15 reps. After you finish the 15, you increase the whole thing by 10 pounds. So what we're doing here is building up a weak muscle, getting some endurance in it. These work the upper part of the hamstring. Your hamstring has an insertion above your hips and at the knee. This bit does the knee, this does the extension. And then we are going to do the antagonistic movement of this because this is something we have not done in a very long time, leg extension. We are going to follow this exact same thing. Three sets of eight, 10, 12, 15, then increase the weight. This will use more weight than this. Hopefully someday this will use the same weight, but we're not there yet. Then we are going to do glute ham raise, also known as glute ham developers. If you don't know what those are, you should Google it because we're going fast. We are doing three sets of eight, 10, 12, 15, and then we add weight. So these, because you're using your body, what that means is at the end of this, you use a 10 pound plate, but we don't have a 20 pound plate. So after the first week, that means you've gotta be strong enough to do a 25 pound plate. And then you're kinda of out of luck. Hopefully you have a 35 pound plate and then a 45 pound plate. If you can do this with a 45 pound plate, you're awesome. Good job, and you don't need to progress any further. And then we will finish with reverse hyper extensions. So that is the opposite of a reverse hyper. So hyper is when you pull yourself up, right? So typically you are in some sort of machine, you bend over like over a side of the table and you lift yourself up. Reverse hyper, you're laying on a thing and you pull your legs up. So we are gonna do three by 10 again, plus 10 pounds per week. Going on to the next day. Blue marker is retired because we are now dealing with upper body. So our overhead press is our main mover. We're going to do a little bit different thing with the overhead press here. We're going to do eight sets of three reps and we will increase five pounds per week. Five pounds upper body, 10 pounds lower body. This, why we're doing eight sets of three, it allows you to focus on the form better. It allows you to use a little bit heavier weight for your upper body and it's almost the same amount of work. Five by five, that's 25 reps. So 25 reps of work, this is 24 reps of work. So you're losing one rep, but I like this better. And we've done five by five. I don't respond to it very well, neither does Glenn. Unlike here, we want to do an antagonistic movement, okay? So we are doing pull-ups, eight times three. Now, what we're doing here is a superset. So we push and then we pull. We want to work the front. Ooh, my eraser. And then we do the bottom. I need to get it. All right. Here we're increasing weight. Here we want to increase reps. So we can't really actually do three reps on every set of pull ups. We were trying to do really heavy pull downs and then I broke my pulley. So that's not going to work. So. Eventually we want to be doing eight by four and eight by five. So you just want to keep working on this. Then our next movement here is the incline 
log. Now, this, we're going to go back to that 3 by 10. We're going to go 5 per week. And here, we're going to do pull downs. But we're going to do way less weight than we were trying to do because the pulley still works, just not with a lot of weight. And we're going to do 3 times 10. So that's 5 per week. And once we get to where I don't think that the pulley can handle, we're either going to add sets or we're going to add reps. One or the other, we're going to do something here. So again, press, pull. You're doing the antagonistic and a superset. So this is a superset. This is a superset. This was a superset. And then this is, a, you could call it giant set if you prefer. I just always call them supersets, but you're doing one than the other. Now, the next movement, and the incline log, I was trying to do an incline bench, but it hurts. Ever since shoulder surgery, the barbell just hurts. So we're using the log with the neutral grip. It will work. I want to use a, a Swiss bar at some point, but this will work for anybody else. Then we are going to do either a Z press or a Viking, well, depending on what we feel like. And essentially we're doing three by 10 here. Kind of varies again, depending on what we pick. And then we're gonna do, I call it the machine row. This is the chest supported rowing apparatus. So you sit, it sorts chest, you row, we do one arm at a time. Now we're gonna up the reps here because we are deficient. What happens if you've done a lot of pressing, if you're a typical bro, if you're a guy, You've overdeveloped the front, so your pecs are tight, your shoulders, your anterior shoulders are overdeveloped, you have this posture. We're trying to correct that, we want to build up the back, so this is where we start adding a little bit of reps in. Now, something we added just recently, as we're doing the Arnold press, because it sounded fun and Arnold, his name is in there, so, you know, he did stuff. Now here, because I don't have a good selection of dumbbells, so quick dumbbell here. We are doing three by eight, 10, 12, 15. The hope is by the time all these weeks are done, my wife can get us a bigger dumbbell and we can proceed from there. But we've already ran out of things to do here. So I figure since I'm so bad at this and I have no biceps, we are gonna do bicep curls. Because if I put it in a program, maybe I'll do it. Probably not. I don't know what we're gonna do here, so I just decided to add this this week. We've been doing this for four weeks now, so it's gonna be three by 10. I need to get some reps in there, so the reps will probably go up, the sets will probably go up if I remember how to do it. Now, going on to Thursday, our day. We are going to do squat five by five, plus 10 per week. That's by itself. So deadlifts by itself, squats by itself. Now, this is where things get interesting. We are going to do bench. I'm trying to get this back into the program and hopefully fix whatever tightness is hurting from the shoulder surgery. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And then we are going to do a leg press. And where's my other color? Which color am I supposed to use here? Purple. There it is. This we're going to do row working on grip what that means is we're going to use an axle this is not going very well i have really overdone it doing the pull-ups and the deadlifts so i decided to use straps this week on the deadlift after the third set uh, i'm still really feeling my forearms so hopefully i can actually do these these we're just doing three by ten we're going up plus five every week leg press um we're doing five sets of 15 reps because we really want to get some quad strength going in there. The five by 15, this is a weird progression. So I have four 100 pound plates. Those stay on the machine. That's what we started with. And so either we add a 25 or we add a 45 and some sort of combination. So we went 400, then we went 425, then we went 450, then we went 490. Next week we're going to be 500 something. Yeah, somewhere in there. I don't know. It gets complicated. I don't do the math. It's on my sheet of paper. Bench press is a very different type of program. We do three by 10, four by, I keep writing this wrong, four by eight. Then we do, wait, I gotta look again. Where does it go? Oh, yeah, well, I didn't do that right. 
It is. I said we were gonna go quick, and then you let me mess up. Nope, so we're doing three <laughs> by 15. eight, four by six, six by three. Okay, so these are ascending weights. So we go three by 10, three by eight, four by six, six by three. And then we go all the way back, and then right now we're adding plus 10, but at some point that's gonna go down to plus five. The goal is not to do a max here. The goal is to get familiar with moving in the correct range of motion, get some tricep work in here, learn how to bench again, and do something. So that's how the benching works. Next, oh, and this right here is, again, one of those um, supersets slash giant sets, whatever you want to call it. So you bench, you row, you leg press. You bench, you row, you leg press. And depending on the week, like this is 3 by 10 this is 3 by 10 this is 5 by 15 So you do a warm-up of bench, a warm-up of row, and then you do a set of leg press. That's how that works. Next, we go into, oh, I got too many colors. This is not working. Oh, can't even spell. Press variation. So what we're trying to do here is get some sort of work on the triceps. So you're gonna do either a close grip bench, a uh, floor press, or something. You want to compound. You don't want to just a uh, tricep isolation. We're gonna do three by ten. Three by ten just seems to be popular because we don't do much volume normally. Then we're gonna do the machine row again. We're gonna follow the same thing that we did here, three by 15. So those go up five pounds each time. Then here, we are going to do the leg curl. Uh, I'm trying to hurry up. My wife says, you need to hurry up and make the video. <laughs> now we're gonna do a little bit thing different than here, where on this leg curl, we went eight, 10, 12, 15. Here, we're doing three by 10 plus five per week. So this will be heavier. This will be focused on reps. And then lastly, we have the leg extension. And then we have the, uh, we, do, we don't have a rowing variation here. We're gonna get some bicep curls in, because again, I need to do those. So if I keep writing enough times, maybe it'll get done. <laughs> I don't think that's how it's gonna actually work, but if I'm gonna keep writing it down until it happens. And then we're gonna do a tricep. So skull crusher, um, press downs, this could be a uh, preacher curl or something of that nature. All right, now I, I'm gonna get the cap. Oh, I'm so sore, ouch. Okay, it's going down there. Saturday, this for us is event day. And what that means is we're gonna pick some strongman stuff. We don't have anything scheduled, we just kinda do what's fun until we actually have a competition that we're preparing for. So it, basically, we want to have some sort of press variation. Then we're gonna have some sort of walking variation. Then we're gonna have some sort of load variation. Then we're gonna have some sort of we're not gonna write cardio here because that's a bad word. We're gonna write conditioning, maybe. Ugh, I'm running out of room. That is the worst looking conditioning <laughs> ever. I said it though, conditioning. Okay, so press, log press, axle press, dumbbell press, keg press, walk, farmers, yoke, uh, front carry of some sort, load, um, stone, keg, we also include in loading things like a tire flip because it's using a lot of the same posterior movements. Conditioning, something to get the heart going. Because we're training for strongman here, we wanna do stuff that's gonna get you really good at working hard in 60 seconds, hopefully. I'm not good at that. But if you are not a strongman, will this program work for you? If you're not injured and stuff, yeah, this works pretty good. If you're a brand new person, overhead press, I recommend starting with five by five instead of eight by three. Everything else you can do the same. You might wanna take some of these and uh, take them off because you're learning the primary movements. This right here, if you want, instead of doing an event day, this can be your vanity day. Or if you're a power lifter, you can either throw a bench here, you can throw another squat here, or you could put a bench with the overhead press and do overhead press, or you can do a bench again, so you can bench three times a week. But 
you, this is where you throw in the stuff that you want to work in that's not strength. This right here is the pyramid of strength. You're going to build your main movements, and then this is where you build what you need to do. So your biceps, your triceps, if you're a bodybuilder, and your calves, if you care about that, your events, if you're a strong man, your lifts that need extra work if you're a power lifter. And I think I said everything. Did I forget anything? Go lift something heavy. Oh! Yeah, eventually. <laughs> Go lift something heavy.